everyone, it's Emily. For today's weekly recharge, what's the coronavirus going to mean for Chinese investment in mining battery materials worldwide? So the coronavirus is disrupting global supply chains. And for battery materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel, that consists first of a mining or extraction process, then manufacturing, and then finally being sold on to consumers. Now, everyone knows that China has become the world's factory on the production side, and also a consumer giant on the demand side. So these are the two areas of the supply chain disruption that everyone's kind of focusing on. But for battery materials and other critical minerals, I really think we need to look a lot harder at the investment side, because China's basically become the industry's bank. Since 2013, as part of the Belt and Road Initiative, Chinese companies have had access to longer term, lower interest capital so that they can invest in strategic sectors, like mining for battery materials. And it's worked. You can just take a look at who owns lithium assets in South America and cobalt in Africa, and who's building battery manufacturing capacity, it is overwhelmingly China. But China's gonna have some really tough decisions to make economically to recover from the coronavirus, and expensive, long-term overseas mining investments probably won't be such a priority. Now on the other side of the world, the United States has declared a strategic minerals initiative to discover and develop the minerals needed for electric vehicles. So I think that it's time for this initiative to seriously address how to get US capital and investments behind these critical battery materials needed for a clean energy future. If you want more, you can check out my website at www.batterymaterials.energy. I'm Emily Hirsch, and that is it for your weekly recharge.